Yo, what's going on everyone? So, again, something happened again with the air suspension and I'm pretty sure it's the manifold. So, let's go check it out. All right, so let me explain real quick what happened. So, I was at a car meet for like two hours, aired out and everything. And then when it was time to leave, I got in the car and uh, I started at the car and I aired up, you know, like normal. And then I started driving off the highway. And then once I was driving, like five minutes after, I noticed that the controller was like blank. It didn't show the pressure. I have the airlift three piece system. So it shows the number, like the pressure and all that. It wasn't nothing, it didn't show nothing. So I got home, I tried to connect to the system cause it's Bluetooth with the app on my, my phone. I tried to connect that way, didn't connect. It act like if it was dead, right? It was like that, I turned the car on and off, I unplugged the battery, see if it would like reboot the system or something. It didn't work, it stayed blank. And then um, what it ended up being was it blew a fuse. But the reason why I blew the fuse is because the manifold is bad. Um, it, it gave me a, a code saying like a pressure sensor failure, like one of the, the right rear. And I've been talking to some people and, and they tell me that that's a sign that you have a bad manifold. And I'm pretty sure because I have a bad manifold, it blew a fuse. So now I gotta take the manifold out and send it to Bag Riders because I got my kit from Bag Riders. And they're gonna, you know, give it to Airlift and then I'm, they're gonna send me a new one because I'm, it's still under warranty. So that's good. And hopefully everything turns out. So now I'm gonna take it off. And if y'all haven't seen my setup, this is what my setup looks like. It's pretty, pretty simple. But this is what's no good, the manifold right here. Right now, in order to take this out, you have to uh, air out everything, the bags and the air in the tank. And then you take out all these lines, make sure you like mark down which line is for it, unplug this switch. And then this screw right here and this screw is what's holding it down. And then it should just come out. And then also you drain the air out, mine's right here. It's a little cap, it's on here, you unscrew it. And then it looks like a tire gauge, like when you put in air, you just press it or get like a key and the air comes out. I have this cause water comes out sometimes. You see it's kind of wet. So that's how you drain the tank. And then after that, you could take this all out. And if no one's sure, like if no one really knows how these come out, you literally just push this gray piece, this gray part in and you pull out and it'll come out like that. This one's easy cause it's the exhaust one. And then when you put it in, you just pull it in and then it'll click and then it's good kind of odd for air but that's how that works all right so as you can see i unplugged everything all the wires this one's really short the exhaust is really short that took this one off from here you basically just hold this down wiggle it off i took the two screws off and now this should yep come right out this is what holds it on but that's what it looks like right there so then now you send it out it's gonna be like a Few day process they're pretty they're pretty close bag rides i believe they're in vermont i'm in massachusetts so it should be like a day or two and then like probably today is monday i might get the manifold on wednesday and then i'll just put it back in exactly how it is and everything should be back to normal um i did i don't have since everything's off right now i don't have like a i can't show the code but i have a picture of what the code looks like when something like this pops up and I'll put that in right now. The right rear, that that red number, that's that's where it has the faulty sensor. And you might notice it too driving. You might have like 60 all around or something, just a random number. But then that one will be at like 40, it'll be off. So that's when you kind of get to know that the sensor is like being bad or like the manifold is no good. So like I said, I'm about to send it out. I'll wait for the new one and then I'll keep y'all updated. Um, also, I'm thinking about changing up my trunk setup because I do drive the car more often now. And um, I think I'm going to take out the sub and I'm going to go for like a different trunk setup. I'm, I think I'm going to go with the tank all the way in the back and with the two compressors, one coming in the front and the other one coming in the front. And I'm going to take the sub out. I'm debating if I should keep it because I need more of the convenience than the sub. I'm not going to go really for no music competitions or nothing. All right, guys. So it's about maybe two days later. Yeah, about two days later. 
And look what we got. Boom! Came in the mail. Let's go. Here it is. And I also got these real quick too, because I didn't know about these. But if you if like this goes bad, you can grab these. And they're basically like you put them on the ends of the line and you could just add air to them so the car will air up but you won't be able to control it you do it like how you add uh air to a tire so i grabbed these too oh yeah i'm digging it brand new that's how i like it all right back to where we left off oh also real quick too this thing i was talking about you literally like you just put this together let me do this real quick like that you put them together and then it ends up being like this so in the line you have it like that and then behind this cap is something like this they, like you put the air in so that's why one way you could air up your bag is while like this is out while the manifold is out and you can't really control things you could do it manually with one of these this one's a 3 8 one because i got a uh, 3 8 line but they have a quarter one also. I don't know if they have half inch. So they probably do. But I only saw the quarter and three eighths. But real quick. Let me just put this together. And see how all of this goes. I connected everything. Everything's back to normal. Just tight down. I know this is backwards. Probably got to unscrew this. But right now I'm about to test it out. Make sure everything works. And everything's all good. No clothes come up. And I got to come up with a better spot for this. I want to put it like where this vent is. But it's whatever. Alright let's see. Ooh, okay. All right, so now it looks like it wants me to calibrate the system. And I can hear right now that, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but there's only one compressor on. So I probably got to program it to do dual compressors to say I have two. So let me see real quick. Let me start this. Oh, and you got to do this all over again. All right, hold on. Let me go through this process real quick okay so i'm going through the the questions that it asks you and when you get to where it says how many compressors one or two i put two and now the second one just came on vehicle will now move are you ready damn right i'm ready calibrating right now everything looks system ready to use Let's see what we got oh smooth smooth no codes all right no codes pretty equal that, that's a lot better than what i had before yeah y'all everything's good now everything's back to normal um i even tried it like uh the bluetooth with the app and all that it connects everything's good everything here is good now everything's back to normal and like nothing happened i should have i should have tested these out before i pressurized everything the tank and now everything got air now everything's good but i guess i'll try these if something else happens but yeah that's it so now i think next thing is i'm gonna i'm gonna see like my trunk set up because now i need more space in that trunk i think i'm gonna get rid of the sub the whole sub box i don't know about the sub but i just need more space i got a trunk set up in mine i like how it looks i like the convenience of it it's basically everything it just goes towards the back but i'm gonna see what i do i'll see I'm, i might do it soon i might I'm, I'm about to go away for a little bit on vacation, but uh, I'll see what I'll do. I hear it happens sometimes. I got a couple friends that they say, oh, it happens sometimes. It's like a 50-50 thing with the manifolds. But I mean, other than that, everything else has been pretty good with the air suspension. But I've been hearing it around that it happens to that uh, specific 3P. I don't know about 3H, but I'm, I'm assuming it might happen because they kind of do have the same manifold in a way all you really do the difference from be between 3p and 3h is 3p has the pressure and then 3h has height sensors from everything i hear and that i've e i've even seen like in the kit they just add height sensors it's a little more like accuracy for like the height and all that so that's it hope this video was helpful for y'all appreciate y'all watching the videos subscribe to your boy and i'll catch y'all on the next one